Hey everybody, I'm Chili. Welcome to Hardware 3D. For those of you new to the Planet Chili community, Tutorial Zero of a series gives an overview of the series, helps you decide if it's what you're looking for, tells you what to expect, and the requirements needed to follow along. In this series, we're going to learn how to create immersive visuals and 3D worlds, craft unique graphical effects, and bend mathematical equations to our will, all using Direct3D, which is by far the best tool for learning 3D hardware concepts. Now, some of you might be wondering, wait, Chili, isn't Direct3D 12 already out? And correct me if I'm wrong, Chili, but isn't 12 a bigger number than 11? Well, here's the deal. If you're serious about learning hardware 3D step by step and building a strong foundation of knowledge, Direct3D 11 is where it's at. As a beginner in hardware 3D, Direct3D 11 gives you the best tools for debugging, the best balance between the ability to control the hardware and also not being overwhelmed with a billion fiddly settings, and it's well established and has the best support, the best body of learning resources. I know words, I have the best words. So while 12 is indeed a bigger number than 11, it's probably not the best criterion on which to base this particular decision. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Direct3D 12 or Vulkan are a waste of time. It's just that you're better off using Direct3D 11 to start your journey. It's extremely useful to know Direct3D 11 on its own. And once you master it, you can quite easily pick up OpenGL. And you'll also be well equipped to tackle Direct3D 12 or Vulkan. In fact, I might even go into Vulkan after I've covered what I want to cover in this series. All right, now let's talk about what will be covered. The first thing, Windows 32, because you need a window in order to create a direct 3D device. So we're gonna be doing about maybe 10 or so videos on that stuff, but I'm gonna keep them short. I'm gonna keep them light. Still gonna cram a lot of useful information in there. Then we move on to setting up the direct 3D pipeline, the device, the swap chain, various pipeline units, and getting a basic shader up and running. Once we've got a working pipeline going, then we're going to do a deep dive and we're going to start learning about shaders, vertex and pixel shaders. We're going to learn HLSL and a whole bunch of other stuff. Shaders is going to be the meat of this course, trust me. But it's not all going to be shaders, it's going to be a bunch of stuff about, you know, loading resources like textures, about using math libraries to manipulate vectors and matrices, working with various pipeline units like the, uh, like the depth buffer, the rasterizer, the blender, the sampler, all that stuff. There's plenty of topics to cover and we're going to cover them all and uh, depending on how things look, I might even put in this series stuff like, you know, rendering real-time shadows, mirrors, portals, maybe even deferred uh, multi-pass shading. So that stuff might make it into this series or it might make it into the next series. Doesn't really matter, does it? As long as it gets covered. Now let's talk about prerequisites. This series builds off of the Planet Chili program, which takes someone from a complete beginner and teaches them basically all the stuff needed to understand the material in this series. But that doesn't mean you can't watch this series if you haven't watched all the previous ones. Anyone interested in hardware accelerated 3D or even just Windows API programming will find something interesting here and can gain at least a general idea of how it all fits together. So if you're interested, just keep watching. And if you decide at any time you want to dig down and you want to fully learn this stuff, but you find yourself struggling with some of the concepts that the videos assume you have already mastered, just know that there's a whole program available on Planet Chili to get yourself up to speed. In that program, I teach C++, general computer science topics, software engineering, low-level implementation details, graphics, math, the whole kit and caboodle. Visit wiki.planetchili.net for more details. Other than that, uh, to follow along, you're going to need Windows 7. You're going to need Microsoft Visual Studio. I'll be starting with 2017, and I might upgrade in the future. And you'll need a graphics card that supports Direct3D 11. For your reference, I'm going to be using a GTX 670. Technically, you could probably get away with using a software driver instead of using a hardware graphics driver, but it's going to be slow. Now, the code for all these videos is going to be made available via Git, and I encourage you to download that stuff and follow along. So you'll get uh, the Git code, and as you're following along, the master, the head of the, the repository, is probably going to be way further than where you are. But you can use the history, and you can look back at the individual commits, and you can see what was added at every stage. 
And uh, if you want to run the program at any stage during its development, all you got to do is create a branch at that point and check it out. And you can see here, I've added tags to points of interest, like the end of every tutorial. One last thing to note here is when you clone the repository and you try to build it, you'll probably get some errors because your Visual Studio will likely have a slightly different version of the Windows SDK. And if that happens, you can always go and you could uh, retarget the project or you can go into properties and you can set the Windows SDK version and perhaps the platform tool set to match what you have installed. Now, all the info about the videos, links to the code, links to other resources, updates, amendments, corrections, all that stuff is going to be on the wiki. So that looks something like this, and every series has its own index page, and every video has its own wiki page like this. And every video on YouTube, the description will have a link to that video's page. So make sure you check the wiki for every video to get the most update information. Now, if you have any questions, ideas, requests, or you just want to tell me how swell of a guy I am, you can always drop a comment on YouTube for a little bit longer, more in-depth discussion. I have a, I've got a forum here. You can come down here, sign up, and you can, uh, you can chat with me and the other people on the forum. And there's also a Discord that you can come and hang out in. Uh, it's mostly memes here, but we sometimes talk about programming. Links to all my things can be found at www.planetchili.net. It's all in here. And lastly, I just have one little request here. If you guys are interested in this series and you want me to put out many, many videos, smash that like button, obliterate that comment box on this video and the first video of the series. That's going to help the algorithm bring in traffic, which will help motivate me to do more to put these out faster, which means more content for you. And if you want to support my work or, you know, just show gratitude in a more substantial capacity, you can do that on Patreon. The link is in the description and it will be muchly appreciated. That's going to about do it for this video. In the next video, we are going to set up our project and our entry point for creating a Win API application. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Remember to smash that like button, obliterate the comments, and I will see you soon with some hardware 3D.